What's up y'all? It's your girl Deja Janae Exo. And I'm back with another video. So today, today, today is yet another sorority video. Um, today I'm going to be talking to y'all about a few things that you should know before joining a sorority. Um, many people like DM me on Instagram, ask me different questions about, um, you know, their interest in certain sororities and things like that. So I just wanted to make this video to kind of inform people on things that you should already be aware of before even thinking about joining a sorority. So I wrote down a few things and I'm just going to go ahead and go through my list and just explain them as I go. So the first thing that I have on my list is that joining a sorority or a fraternity, I'm only going to speak on sororities though, but both um, sorority and fraternity, um, these are lifetime commitments. Like I know most people get infatuated with, you know, sorority, sorority life, Greek life when they're in their undergrad in college, but these sororities and these organizations go far beyond um, your college experience. Like even after you graduate um, undergrad, people go to grad school, after you graduate grad school, like once you're well into like your own life your own career like um starting your own family like the work doesn't stop like you still this is still a lifetime commitment like we're still doing work like i mean although i'm not obviously like you know um you know have a family or like in my career or anything like that i know that i'm i signed myself up to be a part of this organization until lord forbid until my time has come so just know that these are lifetime commitments you're not just in it for a year you're not in it for college you're not in it for um you know just a short amount of time like these are organizations that are built for lifetime commitments so if you're not ready to be a part of something for the rest of your life then you might want to reconsider joining um being a part of mphc period um so the second thing i have on my list is that it's a lot of work so me personally, I already kind of knew how much work was required before joining an organization just because like I had friends that were Greek or family friends that were Greek. So they kind of like I see them constantly doing work, constantly being busy. So I kind of already knew. But I know a lot of people don't know how much work is really required. Like I know like I knew, like I said, I knew personally it was a lot of work, but I wasn't prepared for the type of work that it was. So I would just say be prepared to constantly be working i know that kind of i just said the same thing like five times but just kind of be prepared to be constantly working like it's not just strolling it's not just partying it's not just yard shows step shows whatever like we have a lot of stuff that we do behind closed doors whether it's like community service planning events going to chapter going to e-board meetings like different meetings all types of stuff it's a lot of work so i would just say make sure that you are aware how much work you're going to have to put in once you join or if you're um if you are if you ever join an organization um number three i put that it is a huge 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 time commitment this kind of goes with what i just said um time commitment mm, like i think i said this in one of my other videos i did before but when i tell y'all busy is not the word like of course right now because of corona like i'm not as busy like we're still working but it's not as much as when i was in school balancing school work balancing delta work balancing mphc work like it's a lot of work so it's a huge 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 time commitment i always say like it's like a full-time job like we are constantly working we are constantly doing stuff like it's never a time where we're not planning something where we're not doing something where we're not going somewhere like it's always something that we have to do so sometimes you have to sacrifice like weekend sometimes you have to sacrifice um that little nap that you take every day at a certain time sometimes you have to sacrifice that sometimes you have to sacrifice going somewhere with your friends because like you have work to do because at the end of the day all of these sororities are businesses so keep that in mind um the fourth thing I have is that you should definitely, definitely, definitely know the reason why you want to join before you join a sorority or organization. You don't want to be that person that's like, oh, I just want to join because I see them, you know, strolling or um, I don't know why I want to join, but they just look cute. Like, I don't know why I want to join. I just like their colors. Like, you don't want to be that person. You want to have a reason to why you want to join because like we all have our own personal reasons why we wanted to be a part of the organizations that we're a part of so you just want to make sure that you know why you want to do it because it'll show later on for those people who just join for the wrong reasons if that makes sense so always 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 know why you want to be a part of something 
before you join and that goes with doing your research so you don't know what you want to do unless you research that organization or research what they stand for or research whatever so that just goes into doing your research um the fifth thing that i have is that y'all ain't gonna lie i wasn't prepared for this one but you need to know that you need to be financially stable in order to join these organizations like i said these are lifetime commitments and with lifetime commitments comes some yearly dues that you have to pay so with that being said you might have to save them coins all year round just so you can make sure that you have enough money to pay for your dues at the end of this royal year um it's about that time for us to start paying our dues again so i would just say make sure that you know that you're signing up to be spending X amount of money every year for this or X amount of money every two years for this. Like you just have to make sure that you know that you're going to be paying a lot of money to be a part of these organizations. Yeah, just make sure that you're prepared to be paying some money. Okay, and it's not just yearly dues like you want to pay for Nelia, you want to go on these trips with your lawn sisters, you want to go to Cluster, you want to go to Nationals, you want to go to regional conferences, like you want to do all these things and all these things are not free. They're not cheap either. So you just have to know what you're signing yourself up for. Um, The sixth thing that I have is that you should be open minded. And when I say this, I say when you're joining sororities, you're not the only or Sometimes you are the only person that comes through your line. But for most people, you're coming through a line with at least another girl with you. At least one other girl with you. So with that being said, she hasn't grown up with you. She doesn't know how you carry yourself. She doesn't know how you deal with situations. She doesn't know how you handle situations. I would just say keep an open mind because everybody is different in their own way. Everybody is special in their own way. Everybody handles situations differently so when certain situations arise you have to be open-minded and be able to compromise with certain situations that happen you just have to you can't think one-minded if that makes sense like you're about to see a bunch of different views from a bunch of different directions like this girl thinks this way but this girl thinks this way but i think this way so you have to just be open-minded and be prepared to compromise when it comes to certain situations so number seven i have willing to be put out of your comfort zone and when i say this i mean you have to be willing to adjust to certain situations. So, for example, once we crossed, like, our first meeting, we were already electing people to be in positions for the next semester. So, me personally, like, yeah, I was, you know, president. I mean, not president. I was treasurer, vice president of other organizations. But it's just, like, you don't expect to be put into those type of situations as soon as you cross. Like, there are going to be times where we need somebody to speak on this and you know you might be the only person fit for it although you might not be the most comfortable you still have to sometimes put yourself out of your com comfort zone to feel the duty that is expected of you um for example one of my line sisters she's like a dancer or whatever and although she's not really shy when it comes to dancing but like anytime we have we need somebody to like perform or do something like we always look for her to kind of you know do like a little dance or something or singers you know we need some people to sing during you know graduation time weddings and things like that so sometimes you're gonna get put out of your comfort zone but it's not to like it's not to make you uncomfortable it's kind of to push you to be a better you or to benefit something that's for a greater cause if that makes sense um and the last thing that i have is to be a team player this kind of goes hand in hand with, with what i said about being open-minded um you're going to be a part of organization with a lot of girls even though there might not be your lawn sisters they might be your pro fights your neos you know other sorors from other areas you have to be a team player because sometimes y'all gonna have to work together when we graduate undergrad you're not only just dealing with your um chapter now you're going to a grad chapter and you're dealing with people from all over you're dealing with people who cross from various different schools and so now y'all have to work together to plan different events so you just have to be able to be a team player because when it comes down to it everybody has to pull their own weight like we can't have people slacking in certain areas especially when you're expected not to um yeah like when we plan an event when we're planning events we have like a committee or something everybody on that committee has a special part and if you're not pulling your end it's going to sink the whole ship if that makes sense so just being a team player being able to compromise being able to hear other people's opinions you know try to meet in the middle somewhere 
Um, and yeah, so those are just a few things that I had on my list that I think that people should know before joining a sorority. Um, I hope that y'all take these into consideration before you're thinking about joining a sorority or you are, or you have already thought about these, um, particular things or whatever. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I will be doing another sorority video soon. I'm going to do the pros and cons of a sorority. Um... And yeah, if y'all have any other sorority idea videos, idea videos, any other sorority video ideas, um, don't hesitate to drop them down below. Leave a comment down below, tell me what you thought of this video. If you need any more clarification on certain topics that I hit, don't be afraid to, um, you know, ask a question in the comments or you can DM me on Instagram as always at DejaJanaeXO. I'm pretty good with like responding back to people. Um, and yeah. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And I will see y'all in my next video. So until next time, peace.